Welcome back. Now, today we're going to be going through Pure Mathematics to June 2019 International A-Level paper. Now, this is a P2 paper, the first of the new syllabus, the actual first session that took place, which is in June 2019. I've done previously the specimen and sample assessment papers, um, a few papers that we modified and you know made according to this new syllabus. Um, practice papers, but this is actually the first real paper that, that, w that took place, which was June 2019. So I'll be going through question number one first. Now question number one is about sequences, and we're given a sequence, the first term, second term, third term, so on, is defined by, now this is called a recurrence relationship. In a recurrence relationship, you're, giving a, you're given a rule, and you're given the first term, or previous terms, or and with those previous terms or term, you can generate uh, other terms in the sequence. So in this particular case, they told us a n plus one equals four minus a n. So if you know the previous term, you can generate the term after it by taking away the previous term from four, basically. So we know what um, a one is, and we know we want to find what a two is. So according to this rule, a two is going to be four minus a one. And we know a1 is 3, so it's going to be 4 minus 3, which is equal to 1. So we can say a2 is equal to 1. So that's the answer to part a1. a2 is equal to 1. So question a, part 1, the answer a2 is equal to 1. The working is shown over there. Now for part 2, um, we want to find a107. Now, some people might think, hold on a second. It's only worth probably one mark. If this is one mark, this must be one mark. Do I have to go through every single term until I get to the 107th term? Well, not really, because a question like this, normally you'll see a pattern developing. And there's a quite a simple pattern that we should realize that's going to take place. So let's first of all find what A3 is. A3 is. And once we found A3, that will help us to find um, the pattern. So A3 is going to be, according to this rule, 4 minus A2 which is 4 minus 1, which is equal to 3. So A3 is equal to 3. So let's look at some of, let's write them down. Now you have A1, you have A2, you have A3. Now A1 was, as I told us, it was 3. A2 we worked out was 1. A3 is also, um, hold on, what am I saying here? Silly me. A3 is 3. Why did I say 1? A3 is 3. So A3 is also 3. Now A4, now if you think about it, to get this term, you do 4 minus that term. So 4 minus 3 is 1. And 4 minus 1 is 3. The next term, 4 minus 3 is 1. And it's going to continue. 4 minus 1 will be 3. 4 minus 3 will be 1. It will continue as 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, 1, and so on. That's how this will continue on forever. Okay? So if you want to find A107, well, we can notice that there's a pattern here. The pattern is all the odd terms are threes and all the even terms are fours. So what we can do is just write, if you want to, it's better to write a little thing. As each um, odd term is, each, each odd term is a three, A107 must also be three. There's your answer to part two, very simple. All right, now part B. For part B we have here um, what's called a, it's called sigma notation. Okay, and all it means is we want to find the sum of all the terms generated by this sequence from when you put n equals one up to you put n equals 200 in here. So if you start writing this down, it's basically what it means is two A1 minus one plus 2a2 minus 1 plus 2a3 minus 1 plus all the way to 2a199 minus 1 plus 2a200 minus 1. Some of all those terms. So what we could do is we could say, okay, we know that when a n, when n You can say when n is um, even, 
and n is even, then 2an minus 1 is going to be 2 times, now when n is even, remember, you're going to have 1 here. So it'll be 2 times 1 minus 1, which is 1. And when n is odd, you have 2an minus 1 is going to be 2 times, now when n is odd, you're going to have a, th um, a 3, aren't you? All of them will be 3. So 2 times 3 minus 1, which is 6 minus 1, which is 5. So basically what this is going to be, this is going to be, um, when, it's, uh, when it's odd, you're going to have 5 plus 1 plus 5 plus 1 plus 5 plus 1. Okay, that's... Um, you're going to basically end up with... Hold on. Yeah, 1 plus 5 here in the end. So basically you have 5 plus 1 plus 5 plus 1 plus 5 plus 1 plus 5. You're going to have basically... There's 200 terms. 100 of them are going to be 5s and 100 of them are going to be 1s. So we can say that the sum between n equals 1 to 200 of 2a n minus 1 is going to be 100 times 1 plus 100 times 5, which gives you 100 plus 500, which is 600. Okay, pretty simple there. Okay, it's just understanding what this means. That's uh, one way of doing it. There's also another way I'm going to show you as well, because it's, in this case, I don't think um, it's simpler, but sometimes it helps you to split up one of these sigma notation things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, alternatively, alternatively, you could do this. You could say, all right, let's rewrite this as, instead of writing this, I can write two times, I can take the, the constant outside, so two times the sum of, between n equals 1 to 200 of a n minus, and then I can write this as a separate, the sum of n equals 1 to 200 of 1. Okay, so you could do this if you wanted to, and that's perfectly fine. So basically what this will mean will be 2 times, and you're going to have, okay, when, remember when n is odd, you're going to be, it's going to equal 3. Yeah, so you're going to have 3 plus 1 plus 3, plus 1, plus da, 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 all up to the 200th term, minus, and you're going to have here, basically this is what this means is 1 will repeat itself 200 times. 1, plus 1, plus 1, da, 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 all the way up to 200 of this. So it'll be 200 of these, all together, and you're going to have all together 200 terms here, but 100 of them are going to be 3, and 100 of them are going to be 1. So this will give you 2 times, now, as I said, there's 100 3s and 100 1s, so it's 100 times 3 plus 100 times 1 minus, and this is 200. It's 200 ones there. That gives you 2 times, that's 400, 300 plus 100, so 2 times 400 minus 200, which is 800 minus 200, which is, again, the same answer, 600. Okay, so this is an alternative way of doing it, although I think the first way is probably uh, more sensible in this particular question. Okay, so there we have the answer to question number one.